Good morning, everybody on there that's watching Y254. Remember that we're so glad for you guys to be watching us. Remember, you can follow us. We want you to follow us and I want you to subscribe to us because we've got wonderful content, especially today. I know you've seen the interviews that Barry, uh, Barry Moses and Hilda Wadidi did, the interviews with the other models, the beautiful ladies. So today, this stage is just filled with pretty, pretty mamas. And I'm about to interview one. But before I do that, I just wanted to let you know, remember, we are on Y254 channel on YouTube and on Facebook we're on Y254 channel as well. On Instagram we're on, y, uh, we're on Y254, excuse me, underscore channel. So remember to subscribe, remember to follow us, remember to tell us what you thought. And I just want to introduce our beautiful, beautiful, beautiful model who's here today, Karibu Sana. And Thank her you. name is actually Teresa Njogu. Teresa Njogu, you're so welcome to this set. Thank you so much. Yes, I just wanted to ask you, before people um, get to learn about you, where can they get you? Uh, well, I'm on Instagram. Okay. At Teresa underscore Njunge. Okay. Yeah. Njunge. <laughs> yes. Njunge, okay. Njunge, yeah. Teresa underscore Njunge, just yeah. Instagram. Yeah, just Instagram. Okay, yeah. so you guys, you've heard that nice and clear. And let's just dive straight in. Okay. I wanted to ask, how did you become a model? How did it all begin, this wonderful journey? Well, um, I think as any other normal young girl, you start out from um, wearing your mom's shoes, uh, trying on her makeup and passes. So I'll say I basically began there, but um, after high school, oh. that's when I grew more interested in modeling. I'll actually wear heels to Nairobi and I'm going oh, for a class. Really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, you wear heels to class. <laughs> yes. Uh -huh. So I was yeah. always on heels. Okay. Always on heels. Yeah. So I meet people and they're like, hey, do you model? Are you a model? I'm like, not really. So um, from there, I just started actually actively participating in modeling. Yes. yes. Okay. Yeah. Well, then just to let you know, there's nothing wrong with wearing heels to class. <laughs> whatever you like, do whatever yeah. you do, yes, right? Exactly. All right. And I also wanted to say, um, I heard that you actually have a few titles. One of them being Miss Jayquat. Yes. What year was that? Um, that was 2016. 2016. Yes. Oh, that's not long ago. Yes. Okay. Yeah. How was that experience for you? <sighs> <laughs> Both <laughs> the training and then the competition yeah. and also getting that title. Okay. All the well, um, first of all, I um, I wasn't actually going to do the Miss J quads. I think I actually did it from uh, pressure from my friends. They're like, just try it. You never know, you know. So I auditioned and then I went through training mm -hmm. and then we got to the finals, mm -hmm. which were very intense, by the way. But it was a very, very good experience. And... Yeah. I, I was I got the crown, uh -huh. and and how did I that feel? Oh God, <laughs> <laughs> it's like the best feeling ever, you know. Especially when you're not expecting. Yes, it. exactly, because yeah. I obviously never saw it coming. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And I wanted us to show the clip of um, you getting <laughs> the training done at J Quad. Oh, okay. Yes, if someone can please run that as, and I wanted to also know what what exactly they teach you at training. Oh, in that video? Yes. Uh, well, that was actually um, in 2017 oh. uh, when they were going through the training for the Miss, uh, Mr. and Miss for 2017. I mm -hmm. did pop up for mm -hmm. a few tips. Uh huh. Yes. All right. Yeah. Well, I think the, they've lost the video, oh. but um, sorry about that. I'm sure they'll find it somehow. Yeah. Let's just move right along. Um, tell me about your favorite photographer, if you have one. That one when you hear, oh, I'm working with so-and-so today. Yes, <laughs> good vibes. It's just going to be amazing. I know my photos will be a bomb. Well, to be honest, this will come as a surprise because um, there's this photographer called Don Paul. He Don Paul? Yes, Okay. Don Paul. He's uh, on Facebook at uh, Don Paul Photography. He has amazing images. Uh, and funny thing, I've never worked with him, but we have been in contact before. So I think this might be the year when I'm actually going to work with him. Okay. His work is just mind blowing. Oh, yeah. so that's someone you're aspiring to work yes. with. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, and you said he's a Kenyan. Yes. Okay. <laughs> and speaking of Kenya, your work is here in Kenya. Yeah. Okay. Have you had a chance to move out of 
Uh, on modeling yes business? on modeling business no not really not really yeah. but it will come yeah, I'm yeah. sure it will yeah, come you're such a talented <laughs> lady it will come yeah. at the right time uh, so what is it like in Kenya mm -hmm. I know that um, modeling is something that okay right now it's generally accepted yeah and it's always been accepted in my opinion uh -huh. but then there are those families where you have a little bit of opposition yeah. or you have some people who are not comfortable with it because they have that let's say old school mindset yeah and they're like ah, modeling is modeling really anything is it really a career and why do you want to go out there and do this you know yeah. is this really something you want to partner with our family name have you had any of those no no Never. They yes. were all for you. Yes. Wow, that's I wonderful. I meet my aunties. Okay. And my uncles when we're having the family get together. They're mm -hmm. like, you're so pretty. Why are you not <laughs> an air hostess? Or why are you not like an international model? I'm like, um, mm -hmm. I'm comfortable with who I am. Mm -hmm. But with the exception of growth, you know? Yes. So all I've right. never had um, anyone telling me or um, saying that modeling is not something that our family would normally do. Yeah, so I'll basically say I've had my family's support. You've had your yeah. family support all yeah. through? Yes. Oh, that's great. Yeah. That's great. And how do you, okay, friends out there, yeah. now that we've talked about family, how would they describe you as a person? Uh, okay, the one we don't see modeling. Oh. The one who is a friend. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay, how can I, behind the camera, yeah. how would they describe you? Oh, I think they'll that lady. the sweetest, selfless person they know. Oh, for <laughs> real? Yes. Okay. Yeah. All right, that's wonderful. Mm -hmm. ah, so then, and <laughs> I have to ask this because I'm a lady. Okay. And I know there are a lot of young ladies who are watching us right now. Yeah. Please, what are some of the ways you keep fit? Because your body is banging. Oh, thank you. Uh, do you do a particular exercise? Is there a particular routine that you do to keep yourself fit? Ah, uh, no. No. Yes. You're one of those <laughs> lucky ones. You can I just stuff your so. face and nothing happens. Yes. Wow. Um, actually, I never had a routine like I wake up, I'll eat this or I'll do this. Mm. But I take a lot of water and I am... Um, I eat enough, mm -hmm. not uh -huh. too much, uh -huh. just enough, uh -huh. and I at least go for evening runs at least twice a week. Yes. Okay. So that's basically what I do. Okay. Yeah. So sour, sour. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. And um, I wanted us to move into the game because I want to see Teresa, who is not the model. <laughs> but before I do that, what is some of the advice you have for young girls who are watching you mm -hmm. and they're thinking to themselves, oh man, I wish I could do this. I really want this from the bottom of my heart. Okay. What would you tell them? How would you advise them? Maybe the first step that they should do. Mm -hmm. And then how do they go about it? Okay. So first of all, um, I mean, they have to um, be sure that they want to do it. Then the moment you actually identify that I want to go out and do modeling, you start by, you start small. You, um, go to modeling agencies. Uh, if you can sign in with them, sign up with them. They do have um, ready jobs, um, maybe promotions or um, activations or whatever. Or even start um, with photographers. Um, okay. I think when you're first venturing into modeling, it's usually advisable that you have um, presentable um, photos. So you start with a headshot and a full body shot. Shots that will actually body. help you, yes. Because mostly when there's modeling um, gigs, but say they first of all ask for your photos you see so your photos sell you fast and then when they do a short listing they will ask you now in person you see? okay yes okay. so start small start with the agencies you know if mm. there's um modeling auditions runway auditions go for mm. the auditions if okay. there's it's a beauty pageantry go mm. for the auditions and plus keep trying keep i trying. know a lot of people who do pageantry you know they go for auditions they fail but they still go because it's something that they really want to do like three years and on end they're still pursuing it you see because it's in them they just want that crown but then they can yeah, you know yeah, the, yeah. their time it's just mm. uh, good timing you know <coughs> okay yeah, so just go there and just do it all right yeah so you guys have heard that thank you so much for that advice 
Let's play a game with our wonderful, wonderful Teresa who's up here with us. It's a very easy game, don't worry. I can see the expression on your face. You're freaking out a yeah. bit. You're like, hey, what's this about? Don't worry, I won't make you do like um, something physical. Okay. Yes, it's just some questions. Yeah. It's more like a trivia game, a very, right. very easy trivia. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this game is called Botticelli. I'm not sure why, but <laughs> that's the name of it. Mm -hmm. And what I wonder, Okay, how this goes is I'm going to give you some clues. Okay. And the first clue I'll give you uh -huh. is the name of a celebrity, okay. the first letter mm -hmm. of the first name, mm -hmm. and the first letter mm -hmm. of the last name. Okay. That's all I'll tell you and about I'm their name. To fill it up? No, no. Uh -huh. And then I'll tell you a few more clues about them. Okay. We'll build up. And if you're not getting there, I'll tell you a very obvious one. <laughs> oh. So don't worry, there's no <laughs> failing this game. There's right. no failing. You'll do well either way, okay? So then, the first one is, her first name starts with L. Okay. Yeah, and the last name starts with N. Uh-huh. That's her first clue. Okay. And this lady is a model. Uh-huh. Well, not well, she used to be, at least. I think she still is. And right now, she's actually very big in acting. Is she international? Yes, she's an actress. Well, uh, she started here, then she became international. Um. She's one of ours. Oh my god. She has won an Oscar. <laughs> Crickets. Yeah. <laughs> wow, yeah, okay. I'll, I'll tell you this one. Uh -huh. I'll tell you this one. But the next one is Guambi. Okay. Lupita Nyong. Oh, oh Lupita okay. Nyong. Oh, all right. Yes. <laughs> yes, you see, that was very yeah. simple. Uh -huh. And the next one is also one of ours. Okay. And then became big out there as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's so big. His name, the first one starts with B. Mm -hmm. The second one starts with O. <laughs> His wife uh -huh. was a first lady, which makes him... Oh, Barack Obama. Yes, good. <laughs> See, yeah, perfect. Yeah. Uh -huh. You people who are watching, give applause. <laughs> even though we can't hear the applause. And uh, this one, she's right here in Kenya with us. Okay. And she's a TV presenter, news slash news anchor, and she has her own show. Mm. And uh, recently she was caught being serenaded by another celebrity. Her first name starts with B. Mm -hmm. And the second name starts with K. She used to have a salon and she doesn't have it anymore oh, for some reason. I know that one. Yes. Betty Charlo. Good. <laughs> yeah. So you see, you're getting the hang of it. Yeah. Getting the hang of it. So you see, I didn't lie. Yeah. <laughs> we have the last easy one. This is easy. Okay. Sorry? I'm not it's like it's easy peasy. <laughs> yes, it is. Very easy. And our very last one, um, he's a man. Mm -hmm. He's here in Kenya with us. He's, <laughs> he's a rapper. Oh. Uh -huh. The first name starts with K. Okay. The last name with J, mm -hmm. <laughs> and is known for having a thick, thick African American accent. Calligraph Jones. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> well, ah, good job. You've done really well. Yeah. That's a guy. That mm -hmm. was our final one. Yeah. I've had such a great time with you, and please, I wanted you to know that what the advice you've given the young ladies is wonderful. Okay. Thank you for caring about them. Mm -hmm. Thank you for being open about them. Okay. And thank you once again. It's great to meet you, Teresa Joge. Joge. <laughs> I got <laughs> Teresa and Joge. Yeah. Very nice to meet you. Oh. Real quick. Yes. Uh, so I actually um, do a bit of humanitarian jobs. Um, oh, okay. I have a an initiative for teen moms, mm -hmm. and um, we've had it running for one and a half years now. Yeah. And we started out with three girls, um, but um, you know, it's it's just like any uh, normal race. Not everyone makes it to the finish line. So. It's, uh, at the end of it all, we um, finished up with one girl who actually we took to a technical school. She did the hairdressing and right now she's actually doing quite well. Oh she's gosh. supporting herself. She's actually starting her own salon pretty mm -hmm. soon. Mm -hmm. So if anybody will be interested in joining my group, um, they can... What's the name of the initiative? It's Teen Moms Initiative. Just Teen yeah, Moms just Teen Initiative. Moms. We're actually also on Instagram. Okay. And they How can also follow What's the handle on Instagram? For Mine? Teen Moms? Oh, no, it's for the at Teen Moms, teen moms Initiative. At teen moms. Yes. Okay. Yeah. This is, and you said you started with three. 
Yes, we started with three. <laughs> How many do you have now? One, just her. Just she one. was the only one left standing tall. And it, it's so funny, but anyway, things happen. Uh -huh. Yes, but at least from us working with her, she mm. has shown the people around her that it's possible, you know, mm. just because you had a, a baby when you were so young and you quit school and all that stuff. That's right. not the end of the road. Yeah, so okay. she has she has been calling us and she's like uh, most of our friends actually, they're kinda, they want to join with us you know to if to facilitate changing their lives which is a really good thing so if anybody would want to work with us as well they can just hit me up yeah yeah so you guys you heard that you can hit her up if you want to work with teen moms initiative yeah it's a wonderful venture from what i'm hearing and is there any other venture that you'd like people to know besides modeling um being a hum humanitarian <laughs> No, I think that's yeah. it. But that's wonderful. It's yeah. a great other side of you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a great other side of the coin. Yeah. Asante Sana. Thank you so much. So, so you guys, we're going to sign out. Our next interview is going to be coming from uh, Hilda Wadidi. So please stay tuned in. And remember, my name is Joy Mochache.